we inherit um, trauma from our past grandparents, parents, great grandparents, and we take it on ourselves. And this is again, all subconscious as a way to say that um, we love them and prove our loyalty. What do I do to not screw up my kids? So if you have um, like a parent who was depressed when you were born, a child may come in and feel that parent's depression. Maybe it's because they're lonely because they lost their twin sister when they were just a year old. That little baby that comes in will realize their mother's depressed out of loneliness. So they'll say, I don't want you to be alone. I'm going to get depressed with you. And then they grow up being depressed and having, um, they they can be depressed together and not be alone. It Mm -hmm. never kills it. All it does is replicate more of the pain. So that family inherited loyal piece is the third block because a lot of times first, second generations feel like whom I to have it better, whom I to have life um, or success more easily when past generations have struggled so much, have had it for so hard for so long and a lot of them did not have much. So yeah. there's a lot of that that comes down and gets in the way. You enjoying this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Just press that little button, the red one. You know the one. Just press it, little like. All right, enjoy the rest of this content. And it happens from being in a culture of family, whatever their beliefs are, we can inherit. Like, again, I come from a family of farmers. You have to work hard. And I believed that for years because that's what we did. And that's what I saw. And it's the mm-hmm. atmosphere that I swam in. Or it's, again, safety patterning where something happens and we're trying to make sense of the world as little kids. And it could be a stressful thing. Parents get divorced. They have to move out of their house. It burns down, something happens. And the child will make an association to it and put that on themselves. Yeah. Or we'll grab something from a previous generation and take it on out of love and loyalty um, or the family still wants it to be acknowledged. So that's how they get it. It's fascinating. And it doesn't have to just be one incident. It could be several that show up and, and impact. And, and- And I think that it's important to reference because, I mean, there might be some new parents or some soon-to-be parents or some planning parents that might be listening and thinking about, well, what do I do to not screw up my kids (laughs) to have these limiting beliefs? But, you know, like in some of the analogies that you're giving, that it can even just be an inference of a situation, right? So no matter what, I think that at least it's my belief system, it's part of the human condition to overcome challenges in life. I mean, if life was easy, we probably would hit the reset button immediately because what would be the point, right? Friction creates motion. And so there's these limited beliefs that almost like are part of our story that we have to we don't realize that we have, then we, then we have these negative patterns and we realize that maybe there's some belief systems and we heal and then we move beyond it, but it's the story of humanity, right? You know, and I think no matter how perfect your parents might be or how perfect you might parent your kids, there are limiting beliefs that are going to get created. I mean, it's kind of inevitable, uh, wouldn't you say? I don't think I've ever met a person that doesn't have a limiting belief. So don't worry about it. (laughs) The important thing is that there's solutions to shift them. (laughs) It's true. It's absolutely true. And it's part of the experience that we want coming into this 3D world, coming onto this planet, right? You want the whole gamut. And they've changed. I mean, if you look over, you know, generations of time, the things that we struggle with and deal with, this seems to be more internal, um, versus being so physical in the past. Also, there's um, something that you said that I appreciated. Yeah, being worried. You know, the best thing you can do for your child is be happy. If you are happy, and granted, life is going to have its, its ups and downs, but if you're happy, you give permission to your children to be happy because every child's born in to, and they want to heal their family pain. No child can actually do it, but if They don't feel the pain. I don't mean like hide it away, but you just own it for yourself. Then there's a lot more freedom for your child to choose something else or have a limited belief about something else. (laughs) Yeah. But, and then, and also to work on those things that you notice, because I think that being a person of example too, right? You know, people see the strive for growth, the strive for change you know, setting that as a willingness, just like a role model of like, if you take care of your health, your child sees that, right? You know, but let's get into shifting these. 
and how to shift them permanently. The key word here, permanently, <laughs> right? You know, so these things embedded since you were three, maybe six if you're lucky, but they're in there. And you have these negative belief systems or limiting belief systems or whatever they might be. And they can be shifted and they can be shifted permanently, even if you've had them for 50 years. But how? Got it. So um, one of the things that we do is we start looking at how that belief is structured. So I would ask somebody, what is your, uh, what's the unwanted experience that you're having? And as they describe it, like um, recently someone was telling me they hate the oscillation of money. They have money, they have no money. They have money, they have no money. So then we talk about, well, what is it you'd actually like to have? And they said, just calm even. And I get why they wouldn't want the lows, but why don't you want to be a little higher to the top? And that was also really stressful, right? So when I ask questions like that, I start to see how they've organized their world and their beliefs. And when we can find out what's the youngest age you that first experienced this, in the, even though it wasn't in this particular context. Because a lot of times the symptoms are in today's world, but we start looking in the past. Another way is, um, as I talk to people, I'm watching what their brain is doing. In transformation LP, you can see where their eyes are going, where their brain is thinking, where that image or sound or feeling is placed, like if it's placed out to their right, um, that's to where we look to the future. So if you have a limiting belief of like being one years old, not feeling just worthy of your parents' love, every time you try to do something you love, you look through those eyes of that one-year-old feeling um, not deserving as you try to do something you want to do. So that mm -hmm. creates a charge that may stop you from doing what you're doing. Then what we do is we bring in resources or what we call anchors um, to that child. And each person, it's different. It depends on what they're needing, what the belief is made of. But I also have um, patterns. Like some are talking to your parts, talking to your subconscious parts, the parts mm -hmm. of you put those in place, why they put them in place, what the uh, intended positive outcome was. Because every one of these limiting patterns safety patterns or inherited family loyalties have an intended positive um, intention to them mm -hmm. where they wanted to make you happy, make you safe, make you feel like you belonged, whatever it was. Yeah. And it's the action that is happening from it. That isn't what we want, but we do appreciate parts of us are other than conscious and subconscious parts that want us to be happy and safe and belong. So it's about having those conversations with different parts of you. If you like this content, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment below. And we also have an amazing link right there for some cool product. I know you want to check it out. I know you want to click it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. You can do it. All right. Until next time, have a beautiful, blessed day.